And when there comes to them information about public security or fear, they spread it around. But if they had referred it back to the messenger or to those of authority among them, then the ones who draw correct conclusions from it would have known about it. And if not, for the favor of Allah upon you and his mercy, you would have followed shaitan except for a few. So now in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is has condemned Allah has condemned for the believers that if they happen to get or receive any piece of information or they hear a news may it be a public news or a personal information then they should not go about they should not go about spreading it to all those around them to spread it or to propagate it to all those around them. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is, has condemned in the worst the spreading of any hearsay news. Allah has condemned any forms of rumors being spread by the believers. And at the same time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also instructed us an alternative behavior to stop doing this then do what you would relate that there are wherever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says gives us a do they don't do this there and in the same words or in the very next words allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes up with then what to do so this is a very important thing to realize that whenever we are preaching or whenever we are teaching or whenever we are passing on the message of Quran, whenever we tell a don't of Quran, we should at the same time simultaneously also tell about what to do. The do's and don'ts of Quran go parallel. You know why? Because when we tell somebody the don't and the person stops doing that devious act and that sinful act, which was guided to him by the shaitan. When the person stops doing, hearing that these are, this is the don't of Allah, and the person stops doing that, then what happens? That all the time and all the energy and maybe all the, all the money which was being spent to do that activity was now, will now be free, will now be free. The person will have time, will have energy and will have money which he used to spend on doing that thing, on doing that sinful activity, on doing that devious activity as guided to him by shaitan. So now once that, that time, that money, that energy is free, until and unless immediately a do is told, suggested or instructed, you know what the shaitan will do? The shaitan will or might and will surely who is Adubu Mubin, who is our open declared enemy, the shaitan is definitely going to suggest another big or a major sin. And the person who was doing one sin will leave that and will opt or will start another sin as suggested by shaitan. So to prevent this, before the shaitan suggests and before the shaitan takes the time and the money and the capabilities and potentials and whatever they are, we need to suggest the do at the same time. <coughs> so this is a manner which we very frequently come across in the Quran and also in the Hadith that Allah gives a do, Allah says a don't and then immediately suggests the do. So here Allah has said a don't for spreading of the rumors and has suggested the two that is an alternative behavior what has to be done. So spreading of rumors here is being condemned because you know whether they be a public news or whether it is a personal news once it is spread out as a rumor it will be much against the personal or the public interests. It may 
when it is a public news it may it may cause unrest or spread fear and chaos and if it is a personal news it may be a source of dishonoring or defaming a person so spreading of rumors scandal mongering is a bad ethics and it is ill manners and prophet sallallahu alaihi said it is sufficient for the person to be dishonest that he believes and he spreads all the hair say that whatever he hears or to whatever piece of information or news comes to him without confirming without verifying without checking without proving just starts talking and quoting and then spreading it to the others all around him this is a form of a dishonest behavior spreading rumors is generally a manner of the people who have small minds free minds empty minds people who have all the time in the world they don't have anything better to do nothing better to do okay let's just talk and spread these news they have all the time in the world to talk about pointless things so generally it is you you might be relating and you might be knowing that generally it is the youngest child of the family who is the first with the bad or the good news any fight any upsetting thing anything being broken in the house the moment the father walks in it is the youngest child which usually comes out with the report so small minds small minds would be doing all this allahumma la tajalna minhum and generally spreading and loosely talking and spreading news and spreading rumors is generally more common in women folk as i i read somewhere that the four means of communication are telephone telegraph television and you know the fourth tell a woman tell a woman and believe you me nowadays tell a woman with a telephone with a mobile with an with a with a iphone or with an android in her palm top this would no doubt be the fastest means of communication so that is what we need to do we need to restrict check control ourselves to indulge in such activities and such conversations and the spreading of rumors and scandal mongering because this has been condemned in Quran